Imagine the journey of a single elusive fish so perfect that it can be worth up to $10,000 freshly caught and up to $100,000 on the sushi tables of Tokyo. No ordinary fish. And it's a culinary adventure that starts right here, North Lake, Prince Edward Island. I've lived on Prince Edward Island for a long time, and one of my favorite spots is just up around the corner, North Lake Harbor. This is where land lovers get to see a giant bluefin tuna. My son Gabe and I are regulars here during the season. It's quite a spectacle when a seven, 800 pound fish comes in. But I've always wondered, what happens to the fish when it leaves here? And how come one fish can be worth twice as much a pound as another fish? And what happens out there? Good to go. So my buddy Lindsay and I are steaming out to the area where the fish are today. And well, if everything goes according to plan, I'll jump on board once somebody's actually got a fish on the hook. That's the plan anyway. It's a big ocean, and you can only see the surface, so finding a single tuna out here is a near impossible task. But spend enough time on the water, and you'll learn to spot some clues. Every direction right now, you can see schools of mackerel, and these are the fish that the tuna feed on. Amazing, there's one right there. There's one over here. There's one up front here. We're definitely in the right place for tuna today. Hello, boo boo. Uh... Well, the bro's got a tuna hooked up. They're wondering if they can jump aboard you for a little bit. Here we go. One of the guys just hooked up, and he says we can come on board. Boot it! Here we go. We're about 20 yards off of this boat. They've hooked up. They're trying to land their fish right now. The battle is on. So we're going to get on board with them. Michael Smith. Very cool. Eric, thanks for having us aboard. How long has he been on the line? Over an hour now. So you figure you got him now. I mean, no, 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 no. You, you could still lose him even after an hour on the hook. It's such a strain onto it. It don't take nothing to break it. Yeah. There's definitely a big, big tuna on the line, but its value isn't just in its weight. The quality of its flesh can vary widely from cat food to sushi grade. So the faster it's landed, the better, because a long fight heats it up and lowers its grade. Like Kit and I got a fish there, nine the Torbwood here, over seventy thousand dollars one fish. And Smokey, he got one there, thirty-one thousand, one fish. See? Well, that's way it goes. That's fishing. Yeah, there it is. It's fishing. Thanks, guys. Yeah. You'll get the next one. Yeah, Wayne Dudley Willie, Mary Elizabeth just hooked up there. I think she's just a little bit west of us. Wayne, Michael Smith. Yeah, Wayne Mack Thanks for having us on. Yeah, Is this your first one this year? No, second one yesterday. Oh, you did get one yeah. yesterday, right on. So what are you doing that everybody else isn't doing? Not a thing. Come on now. Not a thing. <laughs> I wouldn't tell you anyway. Don't worry. I, I didn't expect you to no. answer that question. What? <laughs> Where do you think this fish will actually end up? If he's good, he'll go to Japan. If he's not so good, he'll go to the United States. See it there? Oh, yeah. Okay, now I do. Yep. This is amazing. We've been fighting this guy for two hours. Now he's swimming giant circles under the boat. You can totally see the fish. He's about 20 feet down right now. And he's still got a lot of fight left in him. Hurry up. Oh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Round again. Round again. There you 
go. That's it. This fish was hard to find. It was even harder to catch, but you're one of the fortunate few who lands one. It's more than worth the effort. I mean, do the math. Up to $10 a pound, seven, 800 pound fish. That was just crazy. They're so strong. Yeah. The tail and everything, you can't even hold them. Pull it up, pull it up. I need a little bit of slack. Well done, boys. How's it feel? That was amazing, man. <laughs> it was totally awesome. <laughs> Nasty one. That was the nastiest one really? I've ever had oh. the boat. Hard fighter, huh? He's been fighting hard for two hours. Now it's yeah. time to calm him down, eh? Right. Bring that core tech. We down. usually swim him as long as we can. Yeah. So, well, if you don't swim to the harbor, we'll swim him right to the harbor. Sure. The fish is wounded, but not dead yet. It's allowed to swim to calm down, to cool down its flesh and raise its value. Onward bound, eh? I'd like to know what happens all the way through. I'd like to know what he's worth at the end of the day. We're gonna find out. We're going with him. Mary Elizabeth boarded the fish. Congratulations, Fanny Wagon. Congratulations, Wayne Lady Hunt. Congratulations, boys. Empty pockets. Congratulations, Tom Lodge. By the time we come alongside, the fish has been killed. It's ready to be weighed, but we won't know how much a pound it's worth until the auction tomorrow. Put up a good fight. Looking at it now, it just it doesn't seem like the same fish. This is a bit sad. Seeing the fish this way now, after meeting it at sea, it's kind of odd, actually. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Let's see again. Good to go. Yesterday, I chased bluefin tuna on the high seas for the first time in my life. One got away, and with it went thousands of dollars. On board the Mary and Elizabeth, though, we fought hard and won. This morning, our tuna will be inspected for quality, then auctioned off. 16 for auction. Mood is a little tense. If Captain McIntyre's fish is high grade, it will get a one-way ticket to Tokyo. If not, it stays in the less rewarding North American market. Surrounded by buyers from all over the world and hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of fresh tuna. Now I know fresh tuna quality when I see it. I've been buying this fish for years, but these guys are looking for nuances that I can't even begin to quantify. The tail, we're looking for color. Really nice, almost so when you look into the tail cut, you can almost see through it. The marbling in the meat, just like you oh, find in it. the actual meat yeah, itself. Yeah, just right. like you'd see in beef. Sure. Exact same yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, actually, you can totally see it there. Yeah. yeah, exactly. This one's actually fairly heavy fat. For Japanese co uh, customers, the color is as important as the fat. It's extremely important for the fishermen to handle their fish properly, taking care of it at sea, swimming it out, cooling it down properly, uh, which preserves the color. These are very fatty, oily fish. If it's not handled properly, the heat from the backbone radiates out and can actually cook the fish. And now it starts to get interesting. That's Wayne's fish right there. So we're about to see just how much it's worth. How does it look? It looks nice. Not that I'm trying to influence you or anything. No, not at all. 250. 275. Three bucks. One quarter. Five. 575. Six. Six and a quarter. Seven. 50. 75. Your fish. The bidding started at two bucks a pound. It worked its way up to $7.75 a pound. And for a 502 pound fish, that works out to $3,890, which is not bad for a day's work on the water. But then again, this fish is a long ways away from its final value. Why did you buy that fish? The color was good, Michael. The fat was good in the fish. 90% sure I'll place that fish in Japan. Wayne hit the jackpot with his almost perfect tuna. It got the highest price of the day. The bluefin is carefully wrapped in ice and crated for its airlift out of this remote, hardworking fishing village to a place far away where only the very best tuna go.
I just spent 16 hours on a plane flying halfway around the world here to Tokyo. And I suspect I'm not as fresh as the tuna is at the moment. And it probably beat me here, too. In fact, when it left Prince Edward Island, it flew First Class Express. I actually flew economy. Because when it comes to the bluefin tuna, every hour counts when it's fresh, not frozen. Time is money. This is the legendary Skiji Market, the world's largest fish market. This is a place I've always wanted to visit. Let me just look at it. Gooey duck, sea snails, octopus, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. 55 acres all under one roof, thousands of different species, more than a million pounds of seafood sold here each and every day. And all of this is just a warm up for the main events. Off the coast of Prince Edward Island, a fleet of fishermen seek the bluefin tuna. But ours is just one fish, and Tokyo is a huge city of voracious sushi lovers. So Skiji Market auctions hundreds of tuna every day from all over the world. Here, they're just a commodity. The bluefin tuna auction, the next step for our fish from Prince Edward Island. And frankly, I have never seen anything like this. Bill? Michael. Hi, how you doing? I'm doing good. Thanks for showing me around. Let's go have a look. Yeah. My role is a tuna importer and distributor. We import fresh tuna from Canada and other locations. The Japanese demand for quality is extremely high. How fresh it is, where it was caught, how well it's been handled. They're very sensitive to taste. And normally the best fresh tuna and other product comes first to the Skiji market. Michael, I'd like to introduce Oshigata-san. Oh, Oshigata-san. The fish that come from Canada, are they good quality? Canada's Oshigata-san is the best. 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 The The best. The best. I like it very much. I could eat it every day and yeah. I never get tired of it. And it sounds like the auction started. Yeah, just starting out. To be perfectly honest, I really can't make heads or tails of how this auction works. It's chaotic and laced with subtleties, but it's worked for hundreds of years. Fortunately, Bill is a seasoned veteran at Skiji and easily follows the bidding on our fish. This is really amazing. I spent a lot of time getting to know this fish on another continent, a couple of oceans away from here. I can't wait to taste it. But before I can taste it, it's got to get cut. It's nice to meet you, Michael. Thank you. It's fifth generation tuna shop here in Skiji. I've read about Skiji Market my whole life. This is an amazing thrill just to be here and see this. My friends catch this fish, and they all wonder, where does it go? How come it's worth so much money? There are more than 800 different stalls just like this one in the Skiji market. 150 of them focus just on the bluefin tuna. And of those 150, this is recognized as being the very, very best. In other words, Hicho is an excellent place for a tuna from Prince Edward Island to end up. I've cut a lot of tuna in my time, but never with the intense care and finesse that I'm seeing here. And these are no ordinary knives. They're handcrafted by the house of Masahiro, the legendary samurai sword makers. Wow, that is sharp. The bluefin is carefully handled. If it's allowed to sag, it will gap and tear, which would be disrespectful to the spirit of the fish. And this shop has been in your family for five generations? Uh, actually, I'm the eighth generation. Eighth generation, yes. that's amazing. So on your day off, do you, do you go get a hamburger? 
<laughs> yes, I'm yeah, of course. <laughs> Enough bluefin for me. Uh, How much would this cost for each kilo? Uh, 13,000 yen per kilo. Per kilo, 13,000 yen. Yeah. So roughly $130, roughly, with the conversion rate. The fish's value is going up. It's going up a lot right now, no kidding. So people come to buy the fish because they like me yes. or my father or yes. my employees. I see, of course. It's personal. You have a relationship yes. with the chefs. Yes. Hello. My name is Michael. I, I am a chef from Canada. Why does the chef come to this shop here? What is special about this shop? I buy at Hicho because they appreciate the spirit of the whole process, from the fishermen to the handlers to the people who bring the fish here to my preparing the sushi and to my customers eating it. This is why he has Michelin two stars. I understand. If I could, I'd like to get on the boat and catch it myself. Then, then and it come to Canada. Come visit me. You come with me. I'll take you fishing. Is, is, there, is there any chance that, that we could come with you with, with your fish and see? What you do with this fish, what happens to it next in your restaurant? Oh, thank you. I never in a million years expected to meet a Michelin starred chef here. And not only that, to be invited back to his restaurant to see what he does with a tuna from Prince Edward Island. This it's about as good as it gets as a chef. I'm blown away. This would be a home run and a touchdown. Too good to be true. By now, the value of the bluefin tuna that we caught on Prince Edward Island has increased exponentially. It's changed hands several times. It's been cut into much smaller pieces, and those pieces have been scattered all over Tokyo. In fact, one of them has arrived right here. And what better place for it to come? This is actually a Michelin two-star sushi restaurant. In other words, this is one of the finest sushi restaurants in the world. Thank you for having us. Does he get nervous when he makes the, the first cut? Uh, yes, yes, I do. Yeah, it's a very important moment. で、その答えを答えは私が後で寿司を握って食べて美味しい。これが答えです。とても How does it feel to have two Michelin stars? This is とてもプレッシャーが重たいですよ。日本で Look at that. Every step counts. There's so much respect for this fish here. Can we make some sushi now? Sashimi? Yes, I can. Thank you. It's hard to believe that all of the life that that fish had and all of the passion that went into catching it and all of the logistics that it took to get it all the way here to Tokyo into this very restaurant is all coming down to just one tiny little slice of raw bluefin tuna. The otoro. This is the belly fat, the fattiest part of the fish, the very best part of the bluefin tuna. Mm. It's just beautiful. Boy, there's a lot of flavor there. Uh, the bill would be about 4,000 yen. About 4,000 yen? Yes. Okay, so $40. Roughly, yes. Roughly $40 for those three pieces. That's about $13 for each piece. Beyond that, it's hard to be precise, but 
It's fair to say that a large bluefin will yield up to 10,000 pieces of sushi. So a $4,000 bluefin tuna caught on Prince Edward Island is worth well over $100,000 on the sushi tables of Tokyo. All of the effort that has gone into this fish, the way it was caught, the way that it's been handled, the way that it's been prepared, all of that is summed up in the way it tastes. You can totally taste the journey of this fish. You really can. It's evident in the quality. I'm going home to tell all my friends the fisherman just how much respect he's showing this fish. Don't worry. Don't worry. Thank you.